Hello and good day, everybody. This is Kyla, and this is the State of Health. Today, we're diving into a juicy topic that impacts many of our youngest patients, acute sinusitis and the role of antibiotics. So let's paint a picture. You're a doctor, and a kid walks into your clinic with a snotty nose and a grimace on their face. You suspect acute sinusitis, a super common reason for antibiotic use in kids. But here's the thing. Symptoms of acute sinusitis and a plain old viral cold can look pretty similar. This means some kids might get antibiotics when they don't really need them. If we could figure out which kids are unlikely to benefit from antibiotics right at the time of diagnosis, we could cut down on unnecessary antibiotic use. And that's a big deal. This study we're going to talk about was looking at two main ideas. First off, previous research suggests that kids who don't have certain bacteria hanging out in their noses at diagnosis might not benefit much from antibiotics. Secondly, they wanted to see if kids with clear snot were less likely to benefit from antibiotics than kids with colored snot. So they gathered up a bunch of kids, aged 2 to 11, who met the criteria for acute sinusitis. Then they randomly assigned them to receive either an antibiotic, amoxicillin and clavulinate potassium, or a placebo for 10 days. They were looking to see if the symptom burden differed between groups based on whether they had the bacteria present and the color of their snot. The results? Well, those in the antibiotic group experienced significantly lower symptom burden than those in the placebo group, with a median time to symptom resolution of seven days compared to nine days. The kids in the antibiotic group were less likely to experience treatment failure, develop an ear infection, or receive additional antibiotics. But here's where it gets interesting. The effectiveness of the treatment was significantly different between children with and without those bacterial pathogens. Kids with these bacteria in their noses had lower symptom burdens when treated with antibiotics. But in kids without these bacteria, which made up about 28% of all kids in the study, the difference in symptom burden wasn't as pronounced. Now, what about the snot color? The results showed that the effectiveness of antibiotics didn't significantly differ between kids with colored snot and those with clear snot. So, the color of nasal discharge shouldn't really impact our decision to prescribe antibiotics. What's the takeaway? Well, this study suggests kids without these specific bacteria in their noses at the time of sinusitis diagnosis don't benefit from antibiotics as much as kids with these bacteria. This could be a game changer in reducing unnecessary antibiotic use. And despite the long-standing belief that colored snot equals bacterial infection, this study shows it's not a reliable factor in deciding to prescribe antibiotics. Stay tuned for our next episode, where we will continue to keep you updated on the newest medical news and research. But if you can't wait and are ready to jump into more medical topics, head over to our YouTube channel or visit medschool.com to learn more. Until then, keep your curiosity peaked and your stethoscope close. Don't forget, every patient is a new chapter in the ever-evolving book of medicine. Catch you next time.